Hey, what's up? It's Sigo here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak your iPhone 5. Now, it not only works for iPhone 5, you can also do it on the iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, iPhone 4S, uh, as well as the iPad mini and pretty much all the other iPads as long as you're running iOS 6. So if you don't know what version of iOS uh, your device is running, I'll show you guys how to check that uh, right now. So to check what version you have on your phone and to see if this jailbreak is compatible uh, with your device, go ahead and unlock your device here. Uh, go ahead and go to your settings and scroll down to general. Uh, once you're general, go ahead and simply click on the first one about. And then if you scroll down a bit, you should be able to see the version. Now for me currently it's 6.1. So that means it's just fine. Now there's a bunch of different versions that are compatible while you're on 6.0, 6.0.1, 6.0.2. Uh, so I'm not gonna spell them all out because it's gonna get a little confusing. I'm gonna put all the uh, versions that it's currently compatible with in the description below this video. So uh, go ahead and check out the description and if it's any, uh, if, any if your version that's on your phone is in the description, that means uh, the jailbreak is compatible but obviously I'll be updating that list in case uh, more versions get released but at the moment it's pretty much working for every single version out there but be sure to check the description to be 100% sure that your version is compatible uh, so that's pretty much how you check uh, what version you have and if it's compatible and one more thing you want to do is for the people that have their pass lock activated you want to make sure to uh, deactivate that or disable that uh, so go back to your uh, general settings here and scroll down a bit and it says passcode lock now you wanna it's gonna ask you for your passcode and make sure you click on turn passcode off so that's quite important uh, you can put it back on once you've uh, done your job or once you've jailbroken your device you can turn it back on but during the jailbreak you want to make sure it's off because it does cause some problems now your device is ready to get jailbroken so let's get uh, to how to jailbreak your iPhone. Now the first thing you want to do is download a little application called Evasion and you can do that uh, by visiting this website which obviously will be in the description of this video. Uh, it's evasion with a zero as an o.com and from here you can download it from their own website although it might be a little overloaded so I recommend using one of the official mirrors here so you can choose from RapidShare, Mega or BoxNet. I personally chose RapidShare so just click on uh, that and it will redirect you to RapidShare where you can download this Evasion app. So go ahead and download that and launch it up. Now the Evasion app is really, really simple to do. All you need to make sure is that obviously your pass lock is disabled on your phone, which we've done already earlier. And of course you have to make sure that your phone is plugged in. So make sure your phone is plugged into your Mac and then we can go ahead and jailbreak it. So once you have your device connected, uh, Evasion should automatically recognize it. If not, try and restart Evasion. But once it recognizes it, it will tell you uh, exactly what device you have connected. So in my case, it's the iPhone 5 and also the iOS version uh, that is uh, installed on that device. And obviously it tells me that it is supported. So we're gonna go ahead and click on jailbreak here and it's gonna connect to device and it's gonna do a bunch of stuff in the background. Uh, but it's pretty much gonna jailbreak your phone and uh, a few things are gonna happen to your phone as well, so you'll be able to see that in a second, but this is gonna take a while, so I'll be back as soon as th there is some uh, progress. Now during the jailbreak itself, it's gonna reboot your iPhone a few times, uh, so that's completely normal, don't worry about anything, and uh, I'll be back once there's more progress, but obviously you'll be able to, uh, I've also recorded my phone where you can see exactly what happens to my phone in case you guys wanna see uh, what happens before you actually want to uh, jailbreak it. So I'm just gonna accelerate that and uh, I'll be back in a minute. All right, so there you go. It's pretty much almost done, but now uh, as you can see on the Evasion app, it tells me to continue. I have to unlock my device and tap the new jailbreak icon. So uh, let's go ahead and do that right now. So as you can see, once you launch the actual uh, jailbreak application on your phone, it seems as if it crashes right away, but that's completely normal. You should only tap it once and it's gonna close right back automatically, uh, but that is completely normal. So don't worry about anything. And now you're pretty much done uh, with the jailbreak. It's just gonna do a few more things, but uh, it should be done. So that about took about three or four minutes. Uh, really, really fast jailbreak, really, really good. 
uh, jailbreak. And uh, there you go, you have your jailbroken phone right now. It's gonna reboot one last time and uh, you'll have all the, uh, you'll have Cydia installed and from there on you'll be able to install every other jailbroken tweaks and settings and apps and all that kind of stuff. So uh, that's pretty much how you jailbreak your iPhone 5 or any other device. Uh, the cool thing about this app is that it tells you if your device is compatible or not as soon as you connect it. So uh, there's nothing to worry about. Uh, but once again, I will put the supported device in the descriptions uh, in the description of this video if you want to make 100% sure. But uh, the app should be uh, pretty good to tell you that as well. So that's pretty much it. Uh, hopefully this helped. If you guys have any questions or any problems, go ahead and comment down below. Hopefully I'll be able to help you. Also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and like this video if you did uh, find it helpful. So I'll thank you a lot for watching once again and I'll see you guys later. Peace.